That's right, Liesl. It's definitely a jazzed up Tuesday today. We have the incredible Mr. Jimmy Lutlu here with us, and he's been serenading us and making music like you won't believe fit for a Tuesday. But before we go on, I've got to read you this comment, uh, Mr. Lutlu, uh, from one dealer, Finch Minister Kama Amata, on, on Facebook. And he says, and he never thought, I never thought I, I would start my day with classical jazz, especially my 21st birthday wow. with jazz, but with espresso, anything is possible. Big ups and keep up the great work. My day is still going to be a yoba, though. Or I'm already at work and about to start right now. I'm good. Wandile, congratulations. Actually, big, big happy birthday to you from us, the Expresso family, and I think from Mr. Jimmy Juju as well. And uh, for the people that didn't watch a bit earlier on, yeah. you showed us a bit of a trick of what you do when you scat with the guitar. If you, want, if you wouldn't mind just showing us that again. Yeah. And how it works, explaining that to us. Man, it's like you're playing notes. Yes. Um, without using the words. Yes. Okay. It's like I mean vocals, but you know, just you trying what you do, just sing the the same note, uh -huh. the same, yeah. Like I go. So to the party, do 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 <laughs> It'll never talk to you. It's all about that passion, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Now you're about to perform another song for us. What is it called? Point of view. The point of yeah. view. And tell me, what is it about this song that is that is that is the pull factor of it? Man, one day I was walking in here, Berea, you know, those days, and I saw kids playing in the park where I was not allowed to go and play, yes. and that broke my heart. So that's where point of view came from. All right. Well, yeah. take it away, sir. Thank you very Thanks. much. Here we cool. go. Point of view.
Oh, yes. <laughs> Man, jazzed up Tuesday indeed on Express with Mr. Jimmy Dude. That's Yo. it. Whoa, uh, if you don't feel that, then I don't know what's gonna kickstart your day today. Uh, and this all started with you just picking up your cousin's guitar one day when you were 13 years old. Yeah, I was, uh, I was 13 years old. The thing is, I grew up uh, with seven cousins that were all playing guitar. Yes. So, I mean, I grew up in the musical environment, so that's how I pick up the guitar. But man, I just thank God because it's been a long journey. And I've just released my number seventh album. Your seventh album Don't and of, of, yeah. with your four cousins that um, you have around you, know, you over yeah. here. Camilo, Anton, Lucas, you know. Uh -huh. and, and together I mean, you have a, a collaborative name? Yeah, Sid Bass Collective. And uh -huh. we've been together for almost 20 years. 20 years, yeah. that is amazing. So you've yeah. made a, lo a lot of music and through the ages, you've done quite a lot, performed along the likes, uh, alongside the likes of Brahu, Uma Miriam. Yeah, 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 yeah. But tell me about some of those highlights, because I mean, you know, some people can only dream of what you've done. Yeah, I think one of my highlights, I mean, I'll speak about two. Mm. Um, when I was at La Villette in Paris with Brahu, that wow. was like the first time for me to be on that stage level. And then in Germany, I remember the person who took me to Germany for the first time and I bought myself a guitar, who introduced me to that market was Miriam Akeba. I was part of the band. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, I'm really very privileged and honored, you know, just to be able to share and to learn from these people. Tell me about that feeling, because I, 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 I gather it should have been, or it would have been very special to you for you to buy yourself your first guitar, starting off with a homemade guitar when you were 13 years old. What guitar did you buy? Um, the first guitar that I bought, it was a Takamine. No, no, sorry, it was a y Yamaha. Uh -huh. Yeah, not a Takamine, Takamine just came now. And I mean, I used to use something that we don't call a guitar. I mean, I can say that today, but I mean, that was the beginning. Yeah. And to have my own guitar, yeah, my man, that was like, Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a dream come true. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a passion that one can't describe when you watch you play. And even when you listen to your CDs, yeah. the passion that comes through every note, even the way you move around, where does that come from? Man, I've been inspired by, you know, a lot of traditional music. And I love, I love a lot of choral music, uh -huh. you know, and that gives you, you know, it, it gives a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, it's like, it's more spiritual. And, but also, I mean, I love Brazilian music, Cuban yes. music, because then it adds that energy. And it's also in your new album as well coming yeah. out. Yeah. That's what people So I'm inspired by like different elements, you yeah. know, that really makes me sound original. Oh, but you, you, got, yeah. you got to give us a bit of that sound like that. Here we go. Here we go. Two, Here we go. Three. <laughs> Espresso and SABC3.